How have I just managed to get that to fit in there? Just go in there. <laughs> yes. Okay, so hey guys, I hope you're all doing really, really well. Now, I do just want to say, all the content's been like get up and go recently, which I like, but we need a bit more of a personal update. So, the last time we were in the cinema room, it was the three-part series on the main channel. But in short, I'm scrapping the whole cinema room vibe. I'm really sorry. Hey, hold on, hold on. Do you not want to show them what happened last night first? <gasps> So now we can take you in. This is the cinema room. A few things will have changed if you were, well, accustomed to the last three videos that I did in here. First is, we have a new carpet. We're now creaming here. The old carpet is... Welcome to the garage. It's, uh, the old carpet's in here. Huge shout out to my mate Brad, by the way, for sorting this carpet for me. Legend and assistant Luke came round last week and touched up all of the painting in here. So now this place doesn't feel like an idiot like me has, uh, yeah, thinks he knows what he's doing with the paintbrush when I don't. Do you paint it then? Yeah. <laughs> this is a big deal. This is a great TV and it's actually a 65 inch. It's that good. It's replacing my 80 inch TV up here, which is going. We're gonna completely cover this back wall in our new wood veneer. It's gonna look absolutely awesome. Let's get this. Now, I drilled this cabinet to the wall and it's not designed to be drilled to the wall, so I'm having quite a bit of difficulty removing it. Okay, so to start out with, there was a few things that I didn't like about this room. I've managed to sort a few of them out, like the carpet, and at one point, like I said, the ceiling was black. It's now white, it looks loads better. The other things I wasn't so fond on about this room was the fact that the TV is just too big for this thing. I'm not bothered about having like a huge TV. You're a growing man now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm growing up. The only other thing I didn't like, really, was this cabinet because it was a cheap buy off Amazon and I had it drilled to the wall. It's sort of falling to pieces. Happy to see this go. Shorts had chain when the money came. Money bad, hey, I'm getting money back. Need a money counter for the money, eh? Hey. No, I need you, so don't you run away. Wow. This place feels so much bigger even without that black cabinet. I feel like we're definitely making the right choices here. This room is feeling bigger, which is a great thing. This TV now needs to go. It's huge. It smells really, really heavy. <laughs> and very, very heavy. I'm glad it's gone. So this is the single stand that was holding up the center channel speaker above the TV. Literally, this is what it was. Budge job, Alex. We have this huge bracket, which is obviously over this window. This is what was actually holding up the TV, the wall-mounted 82-inch TV before. So this is solid. I'm gonna keep this here because basically, as I told you guys at the start, this entire wall is gonna be wood veneer. So you're not even gonna see this you're not going to see this window, it's going to be non-existent and the TV is going to live right here with its new stand. Should look sick. Okay, here we go, we're going to see what this looks like. This is really exciting. Yes! It's not even in yet, keep going, keep going. <laughs> yes! This is so much better, that old TV was far too big for this room, it looks stupid. This is so much nicer. You're probably wondering, Alex, what is this? Now these are the feet off the bottom of the amplifier. With the feet off, it doesn't fit. The amplifier physically doesn't fit. It's too big. With that on it, it's too big. So, I'm gonna have to think of something else to do uh, to make that work because that's a bit of an issue. Kind of need the amplifier. But this, this is sick. New Sony TV, 4K, OLED, and the best part, 120 hertz. Let's get the PS5 out. It. This is it. Oh, 
Okay, so I've been playing a little bit of Rocket League so far and I'm absolutely loving this. A few things that I want to tell you guys. First off, Sony have sponsored this video by sending me this TV. Sony, thank you. I'm really grateful because this TV is mega. It's not just that it's a great TV, it's also that it interacts with PlayStation 5s, if you were lucky enough to own one, very, very well. But for now, here's a quick lowdown and I'll drop a link to this TV in the description. Thin TVs, flat screen TVs, are all well and good. However, there is a huge asterisk on that. The thinner you make your TV, the more you jeopardize the sound quality. Because if you actually look at this TV head on, and in fact, actually pinch it yourself, you can see that it is very, very thin. It appears thin to look at. However, that isn't the full story. You can see that we have this huge piece on the back of the TV for absolutely excellent reason, should I add. Wow, that's Bloody so hell. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immediately. Immediately. Are you speeding there? Are you rolling there? Yeah. You hear Jed's reaction to that when I just played it at low volume, like. So if I play this song by Sonny... <laughs> Sonny, yeah. <laughs> Right, so if I click play on this song, <laughs> you can hear if you come up to the TV, that the high frequencies are actually coming out of the TV itself. There's a point actually right here. Right there. The sound is coming from here. Now back out. This is in the middle of the TV. Let's just skip this onto the drop a bit. Right, now listen to this sub here. Crazy Now that is unreal. How have I just managed to get that to fit in there like that? That looks insane. So today, this morning, I want to get into these boxes here. Let's have a look at where we managed to get to yesterday. I managed to fit the amplifier in here. So there's basically meant to be a drawer here like there is here. I've taken this jigsaw here and I've cut a hole out the back so we have access to all of our ports. I think I'm going to install a couple of fans on the back of this just to push air in for this amplifier. So it's a mess, but at the end of today, this is going to be finished. And it's going to be finished because we're going to install these. Look at these. Oh, they look so good. As you can see, this is what it looks like. So it's actually acoustic panel. So this is acoustic treated, which is great. As well as that, it also looks really cool. Now, before you rush out and try and do this yourself, each one of these sheets is about 150 quid. So to do my entire wall, I've needed six sheets, which I think is equated to something like 900 pounds worth of this stuff, which is insane. My wall isn't even that big. But just after seeing this, I've got no doubts that it's gonna look awesome. It's gonna go across this back wall and cover up that entire window. I'm gonna have to cut all of these pieces to length, which I'm kind of nervous about, but with that being said, let's roll this time lapse. Here we are, look at that. Oh, I am, um, yeah, I'm over the moon. It looks really, really good. 100% rate this board. In a nutshell, just drill it to the wall. It really is that simple. Obviously the hardest bits, and I'll get to why this is here in a second. The hardest bits is trying to join it up. So as you can see here, this bit below the TV, we've got quite a big gap here, but I'm not really too bothered. That's the worst part of the install. Now, my original plan with this was to keep this TV mounted on this unit, table mounted. However, I have come to the conclusion that I think it would look super cool mounting on the wall. Give it that 
floating effect. So I've left this here covering the window and this is an ample space for us to mount our TV. And I've literally just ran all of the cables through the fake wall, which makes this super, super easy. And down here, our plug socket is covered up, but our extension cables come out down here. This is really coming together. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. About one and a half days later, everything is sorted and in. This room is completely transformed. Now I've installed the Harmony remote in here. So if we click on PlayStation, we should have everything ready to go. Now, I don't really need to say too much about this TV because it is just insane. The linking integration with the PlayStation 5 is insane and the PS5 is how I'm going to be getting most of my content whilst I'm in here. But obviously this TV has the Google TV built right in so you don't even need a streamer in here because you can just do everything on the apps on the TV. Absolutely blown away that I got the amplifier to fit in here. I love the new wall. I think this is leaps and bounds better. I mean, I've, I think it's gone past my expectations in all honesty. And then with this little remote here, you can see how much all of the different lighting elements, well, how much they make a difference. There you go. I really do hope you've enjoyed. And uh, I'll drop links to all the stuff that I used, including all the stuff for this wall down in the description if you want to give it a go yourself. And yeah, guys, happy new year. Welcome to 2022. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.